Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Craig's Stuff. My name is Craig, and this is some of my stuff. I am so excited for this figure. This is the Walgreens exclusive Agent Venom Marvel Legends Infinite Series figure. It's so awesome that I got this thing because these are not that easy to track down because of Walgreens. Because who the fuck goes to Walgreens for, to toys. Get for toys? So, uh, let's take a look at the box real quick. This is the basic packaging for pretty much all the Marvel Legends uh, Infinite Series figures. You got your nice window packaging with Venom here. It comes with a whole bunch of accessories. A lot of guns. A lot of guns. Uh, actually, he's got tendrils, but they fell out in the box. Tendrils. In the back. Um, then on this side, a nice picture of Spider-Man. Another picture of Spider-Man on the side. Why is Spider-Man on the box? Because he's Spider-Man. It's the Spider-Man character. They can't put Venom on the side? Well, yeah. Getting cheap on them? They are getting cheap. Nice spider on the top. And on the back is a picture of, of Venom here. And then these are all the build of the uh, figures in the set. I actually have reviews up of Carnage and Spider-Man. So if you wanted to watch reviews of them, they are up. They're, my, they're really old videos. So they're some of my first videos I've ever done, so they're not as good. Um, and there's a description up top. So if you want to read that, uh, you can pause. So uh, let me pop this sucker open, and uh, we'll take a look at how awesome he is. All right. All right, here he is, Venom, out of the box. I'm super pumped because I love Venom so much. Favorite character ever. So, uh, And I really think they did an awesome job with the Agent Venom. Uh, comics, so really, really like this. So look, we'll take a look at the figure. I think this is an amazing sculpt. They did such a good job. What they actually did is, uh, I think they may have used a reused sculpt and then just put this um, this like coat actually, just a armor piece actually over it, because you can just open that right up there. And uh, there's a body underneath. I don't know why you do that, but you can. Um, and all that stuff, they did an awesome job. They sculpted on uh, all these new knee pads, uh, shin pads. They look amazing. Such an awesome job. I love it. I love the uh, the sculpted on uh, the collar piece. Looks fantastic. And then, of course, uh, you get this really cool uh, symbiote tendrils piece with a peg right there that fits right into his back. And you can really put that any way you want. It doesn't really matter. But I guess it goes like that. And the tendril has the ability to hold the uh, the pistols, which is really cool. Um, any of the guns, I guess. So you can give him all the guns. Uh, he does have this uh, pistol uh, on his... That's actually sculpted right onto his, his thigh there. You can't remove that. That's just sculpted right on, which is kind of kind of silly. I don't see why they wouldn't just make it a holster that you can just take the, uh, the gun out of. I mean, whatever. Um, that would have been cool to take able to use it. Yeah, exactly. Just have another gun. Um, and the combat belt looks awesome. Look at this thing. This is incredible. It is a different nice. material. It's like a, a more flexible material. And he's even got, he got a combat knife. It looks like smoke grenades. Just pouches upon pouches. And a uh, canteen on there. He's got a canteen just in case, you know, he runs out of water. Um, when do you ever see him drinking water? You don't. Never. And then he's got the sh these shoulder pads that are, are just kind of they're a different material, like a soft material, and they just kind of sit on there. In fact, that's what they should have done with the Nova, probably, is made it that type of material instead of doing that weird shoulder thing. Remember yeah. that? That that was weird. Like, um, like, Iron Man had that same type. His shoulder thing. It wasn't soft. No, but it was like, it moved with the arm. Yeah. But this is a soft material that just can be kind of removed. So, that's really, really cool. Uh, we'll talk about the paint. Paint isn't the greatest. There's a lot of uh, a lot of issues here. You can see a lot of the black underneath the white. So they could have used a second coat. Um, a little lazy. They did get a little lazy with the paint on here, but I still like it. I think I mean it still looks nice. Um, it's something I can overlook considering how much I like the character. So it's not that big of a deal to me. On the eyes, it's actually really good. Um, just a very very small amount of smudging there on the face. So nothing really. 
too bad. But really, I mean, if they, if they just basically put another coat of white on there, it would look a little better. Also, look, look the, the again, the numbering on this figure is right there. They just like leave it on at the bottom. If they hid that a little bit better, it would have been nice. I don't know why that just... Maybe I just... Uh, maybe I just don't notice it on other figures if they have it like that. Um, but... The Anakin have it when you reviewed him? I don't. I didn't really notice. I did not notice on Anakin. Um, so, really, really good. I think it did a, a really good job with this. Um, we'll, we'll talk about the joints, of course. You got your your head motion. Like I said, these kind of these come up, so you can actually move his arm in lots of different directions. So you got a lot of posability there. You have double jointed elbows, wrists. Uh, they don't spin, but you get like the upper. Uh, section of the wrist will spin with the glove. Um, your chest actually does snap a little bit, which is kind of cool uh, to move it around. He does spin at the waist. Uh, you get legs up and down, spins, double jointed knees, foot pivot, and up and down with the feet as well. Okay, Venom stands six inches tall, just like every other Marvel Legends six-inch figure there is. Because why would he stand any taller? Does he pass the split test? Does he pass the split test? Let's see. Oh, no. Not bad. He can get his legs pretty far, so that's pretty good. So uh, we're going to go bring him back into, the, uh, back into the studio, and I'll make my final decision. Alrighty, Agent Venom is killer as hell. A killer croc. No, like killer moth. <laughs> There's another uh, Batman DC villain. Wasn't that from Teen Titans? I think he was in Teen Titans. Killer moth, yeah. Okay, uh, so he looks like a, a, I, I love this figure. Um, only very minor paint problems, but uh, they did such a nice job with the sculpt and everything. And it's just a figure that, of a character that I love, so I'm a little bit more biased. They did um, an awesome job. I love the addition with the the tendrils here and all the guns. And the fact that the ten they can hold his guns is just awesome. Um, really, really happy with this toy. Um, it is a Walgreens exclusive, and it does go for $19.99, just like all any other of the Marvel Legends uh, figures. So uh, that's a... It's a good price for what you're getting, um, and uh, which is which is why I'm gonna have to give this one a buy. Uh, like I said, I'm a little biased. Uh, Venom is my favorite character of all time, so you know I could be a little bit different than somebody else's review, but I really like it a lot. So um, make sure you uh, go to Walgreens and pick up your Venom exclusive figure. It is hard to track down. So um, probably give them a call first. Make sure you, in, uh, you can ask a manager or something in the store. If you can't find it, just ask somebody. Um, so that's what uh, a friend of mine did. And they checked the back and they were able to get these. So it's the only reason we were able to get them. The store didn't even know they had them. So make sure you do that. Um, and I guess that's it. So I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook. Subscribe to me right here on YouTube. Leave a comment down below. Check out the Instagram. All that other stuff. Everything is in the comics down below. You guys are the best. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>